Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and the beginning of stage two of the battle for Astrochasm. So the last stage was basically landing on the planet, taking hold of an area, which we did. Now we needed to defend that against Magashi province. We forced them to sign a non-aggression agreement. Now they don't really have any forces left. We destroyed their heavy units. What we're doing now is we're going to attempt to try and find that Star League cache. One of the areas we've detected that might have the cache in it is a large valley just to the north of us. There are a few other off-world units there that are probing around. It seems word has gotten out there that there may be a Star League cache somewhere here on in the Astrakazi system. Prospectors have come trying to find that cache. One small group in the north end of the valley, named the Backyard Hooligans, ran into a group of pirates and had one of their mechs taken down. Once their situation was stable, they also received a distress call from a nearby base it seems it's been under attack by the same group of pirates. The pirates call themselves the Reapers. So with the remaining units that they had, they decided to go and try and help these people out and try and save them from a horrible fate. All right, so here we go. Backyard hooligans now into play. So this group um, with Digger in charge. Now Digger is actually the daughter of Hopper, uh, who was the, the leader of the Backyard Bandits, which was one of my other series. And he sent her off to Astrakazi in search of the Star League cache, not believing that it actually exists. He just decided to send her there to stay out of harm's way. Hopper and his group, the back Backyard Bandits, are in kind of a, a conflict right now with the Reapers. Uh, Red Reaper is the leader and they've got this really bad rivalry going on between the two of them. And somehow uh, Red Reaper has caught word Moving to position. that um, Hopper sent his daughter off to the planet, so he sent a bunch of units here Let's to try and find her, to try and grab her and use her as leverage. Aye, aye. Now the dropship that um, uh, the backyard um, hooligans brought with them has been destroyed. Um, the uh, the Reavers actually have an Overlord dropship which they were able to use to destroy the, uh, the Leopard. Um, so now these guys are are all alone on the planet. They've got uh, no communications, no way to get off the, the planet. So they're they're uh, basically just trying to, to survive at this point. Uh, now they are at the north end of the valley and the Reapers landed their dropship to the, in the south end of the valley. Uh, and they've been sending uh, scout forces up here to try and find them. So the first scout force that, that was engaged took down one of their mechs. It's actually back at their uh, their main landing area right now, being repaired. And, you know, being a relatively good person, um, Digger has decided to move forward to help these people here out. Alright, we got no units here. It seems pretty quiet, so I'm not really sure what, the, what might be going on here. So, um, Digger is running a, um, a Thunderbolt. It's actually quite good. So the way, just the way I, I started this, um, I started it as a, um, let's move into here. I started, it's, it, it's, you know, been an afternoon of prepping these guys for, for combat. Um, I started off as a, um, primitive mech start. So we had primitive mechs to start. Uh, we had a dart. Or sorry, not a dart, a, 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 a trooper, which is basically a flea. Um, let's get over to here. We had a... the hell was it now? You think I remember it, hasn't, but it's not been too long ago. 35 ton, it was a, there was a 35 ton mech, I can't remember what it's called. Um, we've seen them before. Let's get up here. Anyway, um... So I got rid of both of those. I also started with the pirate start at the beginning to pick up a random pirate mech. Now I was hoping to find, ooh, geez, you're in a really bad spot, eh? I was hoping to find, um, like get a half decent pirate mech that I could use for the playthrough, but we ended up getting the, an Uziel, which is the same one that uh, Barrel Duel got for his playthrough. Um, it's actually quite teched out. So rather than going with that, um, like we, we, we had the, we got the Thunderbolt, we had the Swordsman, um, 
I can't remember the, the we have another 50 ton Mac that's the one that's being repaired right now they were all primitive um, anyway I'll show you in the mech bay afterwards because we're getting this thing started here anyway so I got rid of the Uziel um, scrapped it for parts kept a few things dropped them into Thunderbolt to make the Thunderbolt half decent so I sold the XL engine all the pirate SRMs are gone um, the Thunderbolt uh, took the PPC from one of our other mechs. I bought a large laser. Uh, I actually was able to buy a Stinger because I thought a Stinger was probably better yeah. for this playthrough. So let's get you down into here. I was able to buy a few things in the store, like some bolt-on like rocket launchers and stuff, to, just to increase our firepower. And I'll fire. Attacking from position. Um. But I've only played one mission, Negative and we lost. We lo it was a half skull mission, destroy base, and I lost the mech already, fifty tonner, because we had we've got primitive armor, right? We didn't have any like regular armor, so the armor is basically halved, right? Oh, isn't that wonderful? <sighs> Hopefully, it sensors. What do you need? Anyway, so the Thunderbolt, um, rather than the LRM fifteen, is running an SRM six and an SRM two. Um, I bought the SRM-6, took the SRM-2 off one of our other mechs. Um, I bought a large laser because we're, with the increased, um, like we ended up with the ultralight and the um, endosteel structure, which I dropped in here. So we added an extra, like extra little bit of weight. There was a double heat sink kit. I was, I was able to up the engine in this thing. So the Thunderbolt's actually pretty good. The other mechs, not so much. The Thunderbolt's are really the only thing that's got any kind of firepower, and I figure if Hopper's going to send his daughter here, it's going to be a half-decent mech. So the Thunderbolt really is the only thing that's half-decent. Um, everything else is just garbage. So, yeah, what do we got here? Cyclone, the Valkyrie, and the Wasp. What really it is going to be the, uh, the Valkyrie, I think. But the Thunderbolt's taken internal structure damage <laughs> from the last mission. Uh, I, was, I was able to get regular mech armor to drop it on this thing, so it does have regular armor now. I'm taking the shot. It's quite a half decent amount of firepower when it hits. Bolt on AMS, which is nice. Alright, where are you going? So this is a half skull escort mission. Seeing as the... Oh, it is thunder. Isn't that just lovely? Uh, there's no easy way out of here, is there? Oh, wait. Uh, still gonna get hit with some thunder, but... No shooting. Just running. Gonna go around it a little bit. A couple points. Fire on the bulk. Well, yeah, might as well. Got the ammo. Might as well use it. That didn't hit? It did not hit. It did not. Waiting for orders. Okay, here we rock at 10. Rifle. Let's just get as far forward as we can Moving go here. Back. So the other ve the vehicle that we have is a an, a an AC2 carrier. Roger that. Firing on target. It's got four AC2s in it, next time. which is pretty awesome. Good to go. The last time I used it, uh, like the last mission I played in, this thing's got oh this thing's a demolisher. Okay. Uh-huh. The last time I uh I had a playthrough well, you, the last the only mission this thing's played through. Um he was uh Sprinting. I put him right up on top of a hill and just sat there and just nailed stuff from a distance and at maximum range he was still averaging about fifty percent chance to hit, which is pretty good. That's all you got, eh? Okay. Yeah. What can I do for you? Going turbo. I want to say the other mech that we have is a Phoenix Hawk, but it's not. It's a it. it's a Phoenix or something. It's fifty hey, tons. Stay in the crosshairs. I fought them before. I just don't remember what um, what it's called. Ready for orders. All right, AC two carrier. Let's get up here. On my way. This thing's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed with it. Um, 130 armor on the front. 
which is pretty good. 35%. Like, it's already, like, great chances to hit at distances, right? Let's go against the Valkyrie. Okay, two hits. Nice. And plenty of ammo. Like, a, the regular ammo, we've got uh, 15 turns of firing. And then the flak ammo, we've got about seven and a half turns of firing. Which is pretty good overall. Like, I mean, even if we don't use the flak, we can stay in a battle even longer by just using the flak last, you know? Alright. Yep. Alright, Trout. Got a lot of pilots that, uh... Names have, uh, T at the beginning. So it's gonna be, uh, Digger and the T Squad, probably. And fire. Acknowledge. I tried to choose all of my pilots, um from the periphery, Damn it. and I'm yeah. pretty sure every single pilot we have is a periphery pilot. So Torian Concorded, um, Magistus of Canopus, things like that, right? And you know, I probably butchered that name, but whatever. Yeah. Understood. Okay, PPC. We can go... Ooh, we're really overheating already. So, this removes the minimum range penalty, but we must not have a very much, very big minimum range if it's actually better to hit without it. Is there something I'm missing? Probably. Leave a couple medium lasers off, we'll fire the rest. Roger. Waiting for orders. Originally when I was designing this thing, like, I, I, I took the maximum amount of C-bills at the start, and when I started to design it, um, I had the two py pirate SRM-6s on it, Roger. and all of a sudden this thing started to get, like, to be ridiculously, like, good at, like, uh, close-range damage and stuff. And then I was like, and then I as I was you. going through deciding what I wanted to do with it, I decided to get rid of the, uh, Get into here. I decided That's to get just get rid of them shoot. and sell them. That plus I needed this the C bills at the end. All are go. That's just not fair. The only time I ever get a demolisher, and it's gotta be in an escort mission. Yep, more mines. Good to go. Uh, let's not get too far ahead. Got it. So the first few missions for these guys are really going to be about getting some salvage. Because the the mech that I lost, I don't have a core Waiting for. So I, I can't get it fixed. Until we get a core. We lost the 240 Double core. Time. Oh, that's the other thing too. The, uh, took 20 damage. Jesus, we could lose this vehicle getting through these minefields. Um. Systems recycling for another shot. Waiting on you, Commander. Go around the minefield if you can. Pedal to the metal. Yeah, so we're already at a disadvantage. But the reason why I was okay with making the Thunderbolt as it is, is because I want this this playthrough against the uh, Red Reaper um, Standing by. to be at least, you know, like medium mech levels, like way. mechs and above. So in order to do that, these guys have to start off with some half-decent gear. So that's the reason why I've kind of given them, given the Thunderbolt a little bit more of an advantage. Uh, let's just go after this guy. It's where his main weapon is, is on that side, so... So Thunderbolt's not bad. The um, um, Dragon's Rejects are going to be running uh, pretty much all heavy unit. This will be a mixed heavy medium. And then we'll have our clans that are primarily medium, but medium light roughly. You know, so we'll have a good mix. And I'm going to try and choose a lot of missions what just against need? pirates. Uh, but I can't guarantee that I can always get like missions just against pirates. It'll just really depend Heading on what out. we uh on what we get. 
Okay, I'm on it. I really should just fire everything against this guy. I can't have him laying minefields. I'm basically letting him do that now. See if he's running, if he's just... Yeah, he's just running. What can I do for you? Too far. That's fine. Let's go ahead and brace. Yep. On it. We don't have to go very far, but we're just going to go against this guy. It is a desert world, so we are heating up quite a bit here. Aye, aye. The large laser, when I put it in, it actually added a lot of heat. Janky. But it's still, like, in a normal environment, it's actually not that bad. Heat-wise, it's, like, pretty neutral. Let's get all the way up here. This swordsman's really slow, too. we got to get a better engine for this thing. Um... Not a fan of the artwork on this thing either. All right, let's go against this guy, I guess. Firing. Gotta land that. A gotta land that AC5 more. I hear ya. Super sharp shooter shooting shots. Okay, let's get over here. I know you can't shoot, but you're gonna take damage, so yeah. Yep. Ace pilot. Waiting for order. So one of the benefits of having the actually you're not even gonna move, I think you're just gonna shoot from here. Um Benefits of having the Thunderbolt is it has multi track on it already. Yeah, you missed. So I can multi-target, which is nice. Who's next? Good to go. Architect. 27. Let's go against this guy. Copy that. Yes, baby. Solid connection on that. You watch, man. This AC2 carrier. Good to go. Through this series, I bet you it's going to get a fair number of kills. Better. Okay, times five. Uh huh. Oh shit. All right, we're gonna have to PPC the ground around this thing. Here we go. I had to use the rocket on this guy to hopefully try and kill him. All out of SRMs, Commander. Too bad I can't multi-track the ground or multi-target the ground. That'd be kind of cool. What do you need? Let's get on this guy. We're, I'm, I'm gonna, I was gonna hold off and use the rockets for the reinforcements that we're gonna that are gonna come, but we got to get this guy. So let's just fire everything on him and hopefully get some hits on him. Short range missiles are out. Yeah. All right, that vehicle is dead meat unless we can, uh, what do you, you go on eight. So lots of people go before you. Uh, let's just fire as much as I can on this guy. Firing. All right, nice. Looks like the large laser hit. Oh, that might've been the PPC that hit. Nice, got past the armor. I think that's the minefield Light too. Damage. Holding firm. Before any of these guys go anywhere. Oh, you're okay. You're okay, but we can't move very far because of uh You betcha. Because of our range restriction here. Let's just back up so we're out of the out of the heat. Fire on this guy. Okay, a little bit of heat on him. What can I do for you? 
You cannot move. I may need some more time in the simulator. None of these guys can move. Commander? We're all in minefields. Okay, hammer this guy. Nice shot. Waiting for orders. You got lots of armor though, right? Oh yeah, so you can move. Not worried about minefields with you. Let's make sure we don't have anybody in front of us when we do shoot. Let's try and kill this guy. See ya. I feel sorry for you, buddy. Yeah, I saw it, alright. Uh, Commander? Just gonna move a little bit. I don't think we're going through mines, but I can't detect them. I don't have anything to detect them with, so... Nice hit. Who's next? Receiving you. Straight up shoot this guy. Nice one hit. I think I split, hit him hard. Nobody's hitting the CT, which is where he's got his launcher, I think. Oh wait, it might be in the left torso, I can't remember. What do we got? You? What can I do for you? Right. Just stay there. Sounds smart. Cooling. I gotta put out the, uh... I was gonna say I have to put out the fires and stuff. Oh, fuck. I gotta get rid of these mines. Okay, that was bad. Yep. Going full throttle. Let's get on this wasp. This wasp hasn't really done anything. This whole battle? It's got a rocket pack five and a medium laser pirate. Take this, dirt bag. Yeah, I wanted to try and kind of go more with like a pirate playthrough with there these guys, go. but I don't know if that's gonna be feasible. We'll just see how it goes. Just shoot through here. Now let's see how you handle this. Yeah. Okay, the Valkyrie's all yours. I don't care about salvage, I just want a dead mech. Enjoy it, fucker. Oh, oh we bail. Beautiful. Waiting for orders. You just stay right there. Sounds smart. Coming cool. to get you in a second. Ah. Fine. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. Who's left? Orders. Can't see that guy. Can we move to see him? Nope. Just stay there then. You're sitting in a minefield. Aye, aye. Waiting on you, Commander. You too. Resting my back. What is that guy doing back there? Is he actually going to engage or what? Looks like he is. Finally. Shit. Well, not much I can do about it. There goes my ability to see the mines. Let's move. I uh, just stand over there. Shoot him and then watch him die. Hit him with everything. These guys are pretty good at range, I gotta say. Um, yes, yeah, just use the acid. Nice. Prototype double heat sink, eh? I don't want to go too. I don't want to go too crazy with gear. Too with these guys. Just want to kind of go with stuff that I think that like a lower end uh, unit might have, just to see how far along we can get with it. Well, it wouldn't have gotten any better if we moved up. That would be a miss. What can I do for you? 
At least we can all see him now. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. Punish him. Who's left? Oh, architect. For orders. A is for architect. Locking in all weapons. What's he gonna do? Sure. You're unstable, you might as well jump. Do they think they can hurt me? Yeah. Engaging jump jet. Want a side shot in this guy? Copy that. Ah, crap. Oh well. I missed. You did. I think you're hidden enough back there that I don't have to worry about hitting you when I fire over there. What do you need? I think it seems that way, but we'll find out. Should let's turn these off. Ah, really? All right, we'll drop some heat. Take this. We do need to move in a second. Oh man, just kill him. Finally. Dang, you're dead. All right, now we'll just brace everybody up here so I can turn around and shoot these mines. Orders? Roger that. Digging in. Who's left? Oh, you can move. Got it. <laughs> Of course, if the fire is going to go anywhere, it's going to go exactly where I am. All right. Um. Heading out. Oh, great. Even though I, whatever. I, I, I guess I didn't choose walk, did I? That should clear the minefields around here. We should be good to go now. Standing by. If anything, we'll take a couple of points damage, but that's about it. Okay, let's get up here. Got it. Got it. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Excellent. Let's get moving. I'll do what I can. Let's get kind of back to moving the road. Out. Confirmed. My carrier, and then it's their, these guys. All right. Too far, huh? Moving out. Don't want anybody left behind. I was shocked, man. I put that big, the bigger core into the, uh, the Thunderbolt. He's got such a good movement now. Moving out. On my way. One's out. Don't need to tell me. Position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Uh huh. Um. We got targets behind us. We do. Mobile turret. Wield APC Mark II and a Saracen pirate. Well, okay, that's fine with me. Yep. Move to engage. Copy that. Too bad I cleared that minefield over there. They, <laughs> or else they could have been enjoying it. It's gonna fire the two lasers for this first shot. Oh yeah, nice. What do you got on you? Yeah. Completely ignoring the vehicles. Sure. Understood. It's good for me. Saving people, that's what we do. Okay, I'm on it. When you're a good person, you save people. Waiting for orders. Um You can't do anything, eh? Okay. Doesn't matter who we shoot. Shoot the guy in front, because if we miss him we might get the guy Wait, in the back. Stand still when I'm attacking Waiting on you, Commander.
Can't I just like turn? I can't. I can't do anything. That's annoying as shit. Resting my neck. Yeah, Commander. That's annoying as hell. Yeah, I see five minimum range. Let's just go on the mobile turret. I'll take the better chance to hit with the uh, AC-5. Two medium lasers is not going to kill that vehicle, so... Here it comes. Nice. But this will help destroy that guy's arm. Yes, Commander. Which way are you facing? You're facing the other way. Get you up on the hill? Just sit there and shoot. That's what you do. Let's go after this guy. Firing all weapons. That's what you do. Where are you up to? Ooh, okay. Uh, took a heavy hit there. That's an interesting weapon. Commander? Affirmative. That's an interesting weapon. It's jammed too. Roger that. I wonder if it's an AC-10 or AC-20 Myrdrin. Myrdrin, whatever it is. Uh, that would be nice to have. I'm trying to think of different builds that I can be doing with these guys. If you guys have any ideas, you know, feel free to, to uh, let me know too. Because we've got several different units right now. We've got the clan playthrough, which is like basically all clan gear. Right? Then we got our we got our uh, inner sphere basically played through with good inner sphere gear. Standing by. We got our vehicles, we got our herbies. So I'm just interested to see what I can do with this group of guys. Twenty four. We're too close still with the AC. There we go. It's a little better. On my way. It's a little better. Copy that. Nice. I wonder if we should go like auto like auto cannon builds with these guys. We can do it with the hunchback or the uh, thunderbolt because it's got it's got ballistic hard points in the one arm, I believe. Or no, it doesn't. Sorry, I'm thinking of um, the the other mech we have. Yep. I don't want to go. I want to see if I can get that weapon off the mobile turret, but I don't. So, but I can't. Sure, if I shoot him from this direction, I'm going to blow his arm off. I don't want to do that. Acknowledged. So let's kill these vehicles first. See what the turret does. Targeting system janky. But then again, it can it can put out a lot of damage too. So I got to be very wary. Okay, looks like he's still jammed. What do you need? Let's get into here. Good chances to hit. This thing's got half decent armor. For its weight. Nah, he's in the water. Let's just go with acid. Firing. Maybe we can get him to punch out. That would be nice. That would be nice. So the the mech that we're missing right now has uh, an SRM-4, SRM-2, and a large laser. But it's 50 tons, so it's got half decent armor. I try to turn it into a melee mech. So it's it's the candidate for melee. Let's try for the kill on this guy. There we go. Reporting. Enemy it's got okay speed. It's not super fast. It's got okay yeah. speed. How are you doing here? So that was a leg hit before. So let's see if we can do an OP on the guy's leg here. Really? Take this. Ooh, nice. So he's going to go down. <laughs> if we take that left side, or we're going to go for the other leg, but... If we could take the left side, hopefully the pilot is, uh... Oh, he's got yeah, two. Commander. 
Injuries. Let's walk it up here. Maybe he bails, that'd be nice too. Uh, we're gonna- oh crap. I'm gonna try for the leg. Oh, that was the left side. Okay, that's okay. I'm okay with the left side going. Oh, he's dead. He must have been running XL. Don't do it. I've been I've been in the receiving end of that. Ooh, I think there's still a minefield over there somewhere. All right, full speed. We don't have good sensors, right? Anything to detect minefields with, so I don't know how many of the mines are left. Good to go. I'm sure there's some still there somewhere, but just get up here. Roger, These are AC twos. We can see them. If that guy pops his head, we can still shoot him from this distance. Ah, you Fuck. bastards! Really? Of course. What do you need? Let's get on this guy. Side shot. We'll take it. Let's hope we don't hit the back. Copy that. That may have been a side hit. Yep. That's that's pretty chunky armor. What's he running though? Like, ready for orders. I'm interested to know what he's running, cause uh, just don't shoot Animal our stinger in the back, buddy. Speed. I had to max. I took out the machine guns on the stinger, so I had to max out the armor on the thing. Yeah, the trooper. I'm glad we're not. Uh, I'm glad we still don't have that because uh, that thing had no armor to start with, but it was all primitive armor too. So it's like even half of what was there. Uh, let's go with all this. Confirmed. All right, couple bit of couple shots of acid on him. Ready for orders. All right, should shoot him from here. See what I mean? Like this is like ridiculous range, and it's still 50% chance to hit. So it's almost like. We're guaranteed to get two hits at range with this thing every Everything like I've every got. time. I'm actually really yeah. I'm really, really liking it. As I'm ridiculous as it sounds. I mean it's only an AC2 carrier, but out of a lot of all the vehicles that we've had, it's actually quite consistent. And that's what I like from vehicles is consistency. For if they can dish out consistent damage, you can rely on what they're gonna be doing. Uh, that's great. Uh, that's the thing I like the most about vehicles. Right. So one reason. Ooh. So he must have SRMs. Lose an armor. Standing by. Yeah, sixty percent now. Oof. You shooting at your own guy? What are you doing? Tell him to get moving. Aye aye. It says overheat, but it, I don't think it realizes we're standing in water. Attacking from position. Yep. Okay, let's see what we're hit here. Mostly the front. Let's get around the front so we can shoot him on the side. <laughs> uh, let's get some evasion going. Actually, you know what? Let's just reserve you. Waiting for the right move. You know what the right move is? Copy that. There you go. I was gonna move the stinger in. Enemy but then we had everyone else to shoot and I didn't want to take collateral damage, so. Mission successful. Alright, well we made some C bills in that, which is good. Because we got a financial report in one day actually, so. Uh, we did take a bit of damage, but now at least I can get the internals of the Thunderbolt up uh, repaired. So yeah, we're okay here. Sad we did lose that one vehicle though. Uh, this playthrough we need five parts to put something together. I've been trying to scale um, the amount of parts that we need to put stuff together based on the technology available to the unit. So both the Dragon's Rejects and the Night Gaunts have got good uh, technical crews on their side, meaning that when they do recover mechs, off the battlefield, they're more likely to get 
the vital components correct or be able to salvage more in a shorter period of time than let's say a group like this where they've got limited support resources so when they make it when they do get salvage off the battlefield they can't get enough to put a mech together in a short amount of time so they need to get more and more parts to be able to do it that's my reasoning uh behind what i like kind of how i'm planning it out so oh it was an lbx 20. Streak ATM-6 Pirates. What was this on? Was that on the Valkyrie? It could have very well been. No, it couldn't have been on the Valkyrie. Maybe it was on that vehicle at the end. Ferro Fibrous, that would be nice. Prototype Double Heat Sink. Standard Fusion Core. These are the kinds of things I need to be looking at getting. How many rounds is this? Five? Five shots. Five shots. What can I put that in? How much is the LBX-20 weigh? I think it's 12 tons, isn't it? 12 or 14? I don't have anything to put it in, unfortunately. It's 12 tons. It's not that bad. Streak ATM 6s. So this uses... So it's an uses streak LRM MRM or SRM ammo. That's kind of cool. For for only four tons. Hmm. We got some interesting choices here already. Now we got streak ammo. We do have down. We have streak MRM and LRM and SRM. Like, we could take Streak, LRM, and MRM. That's 120 shots. This is 200 shots. That's way too much. And Streak 6. Or, sorry, Streak SRM. Interesting. I'd like to take the standard Fusion Core, but I'm thinking that we could pick that up in future missions for these guys. I have never, I don't think I've ever seen these things. So I'm going to take that. And I know Streak LRM and Streak MRM ammo are, are harder to get. I'm going to grab the full ton. It's a lot of shots, but still. You know what, let's... Ah. For the sake of saving half a ton, we'll take the we'll take this. I'm gonna take these guys and see how I, I think we're gonna do okay on the salvage return on this though, so I'll take those. All right, we got like nothing vehicle wise. We did get the LBX twenty LRM five medium laser rocket pack five, internal combustion engine which we don't necessarily need. Heat sinks I've got a bunch of already, so I can sell these. Got the standard fusion core the TSM is awesome, LBX twenty cluster, that can go. And we didn't get any more streak. So that's actually half decent. All right, let's go into the mech bay real quick. I want to see what hey, that. Commander. This so this. Be with you in a sec. For some reason, I keep calling this a. It's a phoenix. Yeah, not a phoenix hawk. It's a phoenix. I thought it was a phoenix hawk, but I knew it was fifty tons, so I knew it couldn't be a phoenix hawk. But this guy's. Uh, we didn't get any cores, so we can't do anything with this thing yet. Um, but we lost all our. We lost our one side and everything. But yeah, so um, this guy went down. It's in repairs still. Thunderbolt. Let's have a look at this guy. So I want to quickly just refit this guys with this with the um, the pirate ATMs. So the double heat sink. I got off the battlefield in the one the last mission I played. Same with the standard fusion core. I was able to put them in here. Let's get this repaired. I bought the advanced zoom in the store. The bolt-on AMS was in the store. Uh, PPC came off the Phoenix. I brought it over to here. Uh, let's pull out these guys. And I know this is going to be weight like weighty here, but I want to just try something here. So this is, what, 8 tons for 2 of these, eh? And then... Um, but we've got range with these, too. That's the thing. So there's range on these guys. So we can bring in... LRM Streak Ammo. We can bring in... MRM streak ammo. 
Then we can pull the large. Although it was hitting really consistently that last battle. Um, I want to try the ATMs out and see if that's going to give us any more versatility. Uh, so we'll pull that out and then we can go back to the weapons. We can drop a, a medium laser back in here. Oh yeah, we do have two ballistic hard points on this thing. I thought we did. I think it had two machine guns on this arm, which I pulled out. Um, but yeah, so we could make it, we could turn this into an LBX-20 build if we get enough ammo. But maybe we try to eventually make this, this whole playthrough like an AC kind of build. So how are we doing heat-wise now? We should be pretty darn efficient. Yeah, 77, 78, pretty good. We've got half a ton left over, which we can include as armor because we don't have full armor. Uh, I don't think there's anything else equipment-wise. Uh, don't think we got anything else that we can really now. So max the rest out with armor. And then there, there. We'll just finish up CT back. Alright, that's not bad. Let's validate this sucker. So we got enough to make our financial report. Uh, now this guy, I think this guy's still got the uh, old engine too. Yeah, he's got the primitive engine still. I was able to drop the uh, proper armor on this thing. Uh, it didn't give us much. It gave us like a, a couple of tons or something, which I put um, heat sinks in. Because um, it was running a little hot. I think it's pretty pretty good now. Yeah, it's, uh, it wasn't running hot, sorry. Not sure what I did put in this thing. There. Maybe it was just heat sinks I put in. So we got a 135 core in this thing, so hopefully later on we can put a better core in. Like that'll give us almost another ton. Oh, I think it was armor that I maxed out with the weight I gained by the uh, this part here. Because I think his armor was a little bit... Yeah, it was armor. Okay, I'm going to leave this out because it's not going to give us anything right now because I can't put anything in it. I mean, I could put a heat sink in, but like we're limited for our hard points here. Although, this is an LRM5, right? Since we got the streaks coming up on the other guy... You know what? No, we're going to leave the LRM-5 in this thing because it's so slow we need the long-range capacity. I wish we had a clan LRM, but we don't. Rocket Pack 5. How much is this way? 1.25 tons, but it's only 5 shots, so it's really not giving us anything. The only thing I could swap it out with would be an SRM-6 and a ton of ammo. But that doesn't give us the range we need, so... And, like, we're still, like... All, like the minus accuracy and the minus piloting from the cockpits and everything that we have. Like I managed to pick up one thing in the last time I added sensors here. But yeah, so this should be an interesting playthrough. Um, so what's going to happen is the the way I'm intending this to go is the Night Gaunts and the um, Dragon's Rejects are going to come uh, to the aid uh, of the people around here, including the backyard hooligans against the Red Reaver. And um, what we're going to do is, sorry, the Red Reaper. Um, what we're going to do is, since we can't, we won't be able to um, willy-nilly fly our dropships around and move our troops around, we'll be able to fly supplies in, but that's it, because they've got a, because they've got a uh, Overlord class dropship, right? That's meant to drop a battalion of mechs. Uh, we need to be very careful where we where our two leopards are going to be dropping stuff off. So we can drop supplies behind the lines, but we can't be dropping our uh, our troops in the front. So we're going to be on the ground for most of this, um, fighting the Red Reaper, uh, and also looking for potential uh, Star League um, cash information here. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you hope hope you uh, enjoy where this next section of this series is going to go. Uh, we've got a whole brand new campaign map to uh, to play on um, and a whole new nasty villain to play and we're going to be cranking up the difficulty too, like I said. Um, so hopefully um, it'll be uh, a little bit more of a challenge. Also at the end of the uh, valley there's um, a basically a town. We're going to be doing some city combat. But, I mean, it, obviously that wouldn't be a city like you see in Battletech where it's like the massive skyscrapers and everything. It would just be like a regular town. But since there's no town maps in Battletech, 
we'll just have to go with the city. So we'll have, be doing some city fighting at the end of this at the end of this uh, 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 section of the playthrough. All right. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. I'm always open to comments. Always gives me great ideas. Until next time, we'll see you later.